Hi, this is Chris from Live Dan 330. Today we're going to make some candied bacon. And it's middle of December. There's a Christmas party on Friday. And I saw the mom of the family who's hosting it. And she told me, she goes, Ashback, I expect big things. So here we go. We're going to uh, start by candying our bacon. And we lay them out on a piece of parchment paper on a baking sheet. And after we lay them out, we're going to add a couple little ingredients. And we'll bake them at 350 degrees for approximately 20 minutes or until the bacon gets done. Some people like it a little more crunchy than others, so I'll leave the exact time up to you. You notice I cut the bacon in half here. I think it makes for a little better size when you're using it as an appetizer. Which is what we will be doing for this Friday. Bacon is just so good by itself, but we are going to take this and add just a couple little things. Now we've got them all on here. We're going to add some pepper. So we're going to be sprinkling each one of some ground pepper. And to candy it, we're going to add some brown sugar. You can use brown sugar or dark brown sugar. Either one's fine. Uh, I've made this a couple times, and it's really, you can't have too much. The sugar is going to just candy the bacon. You get that nice fatty and sweet taste in your mouth all at the same time. And when we serve this, we're going to serve it in shot glasses at our party and we'll have different sauces. Today I'm just using a straight sriracha, but you wanna might wanna make a flight out of your bacon and uh, you can include a mustard sauce or maybe something with some jelly or other fruit like that. All right, this looks pretty good to me. <clears throat> this is probably one of the worst things you could ever make for yourself, all the fat and sugar. Okay, now we're going to take the other piece of parchment paper. We're going to stick that on top, just like this. And I have a baking sheet that nests inside. And that will help keep the, uh, the bacon flat as it cooks. So you've got these really nice little sticks you can put in our shot glasses. All right, this is my oven. It's preheated to 350 degrees. All we're going to do is open it up and stick our bacon inside. And I usually cook it for about 20 minutes. You might find that uh, 15 is plenty. Just uh, just check it after 10, 15, see how it goes. You want to just make sure the bacon's cooked and you'll see, it. it'll make sense when you see it. All right, the bacon's now done. We're gonna grab a couple hot pads and pull it out of the oven. I'm not sure if you can pick that up on the microphone, but you can just hear a nice sizzle. And the sugar smells so sweet. And of course the bacon smells like bacon. So, you know, that's good. Take that back, look at those. I'm gonna let those cool down for a minute. Just let the sugars that are there caramelize on the uh, bacon just a little bit before we dab them with paper towels, dry them off. I wish you could smell how this smells because it is so good. Um, I'm going to show you a little trick here. The one thing about the parchment paper is that the bacon comes up really easily. And you just see that gooey, caramely goodness coming off the bacon as I kind of lift it up here. I'm going to transfer these over to some paper towels. And this will just help get any greasy 
fattiness off the bacon before we use them in our appetizer. Okay, now that they're all in the paper towels, I'm just gonna take one, just gently dab up any excess grease that comes up with it. They'll be a little sticky from the sugar and that's okay. Okay, we're gonna finish these up. I've got a couple of shot glasses here. I've got three. And I'm gonna take some sriracha sauce. You can use any different type of sauce that you want. This would be a great way to make a bacon flight. But sriracha is all that I have at home right now. Then let's take a nice piece of bacon. I'm just gonna set it in the cup like that. Grab another one. And finally a last one. And what you get out of this is a salty, sweet, peppery, spicy, and a little bit of a smoky flavor all wrapped up in one.